in Milwaukee, I saw a level of poverty that I had never seen and experienced before. You know, I met I met grandmas living without heat in the winter in Wisconsin. You know, they would just spend the winter under blankets and pray the space heater didn't burn out. Um, I remember this one eviction move that I was on where the sheriff arrived at this house. It was like a cold, rainy day. And there were just kids living in the house, just kids. And the mom had died and the kids had just gone on living there until the sheriff arrived. And so the sheriff evicted the kids, put all their stuff on the on the wet curb. The landlord drilled a new lock. Someone called social services and we were off to the next eviction. I saw a level of poverty that was incredibly cruel and, and painful. And it drilled home in me that this is a morally urgent issue. This isn't just about people not having enough money. This is about pain on top of eviction on top of hunger on top of incarceration on top of just death really and, and you portrayed that with incredible skill and power so why this book what are you trying to do here that you didn't previously do uh, answer the why question why 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 so much poverty in this incredibly wealthy nation and i think that books like evicted books that bear witness uh, have a power and, and a necessity, but they can't answer that why question. And I think that takes a different approach, approach that expands the aperture, that turns the camera on on the full sweep of society and not just look at those that are you know, brutalized by our poverty.